Good morning from Odessa, Ukraine. It's Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to the office and uh, let's see, today, that's well, just kind of a basic, regular day. Work, I gotta head home a little bit early because we got, I've got a, a pastor's meeting tonight at our church. Uh, the pastors from our city get together like once every about two months and today they're getting together uh, at our church actually. So I'm gonna head off to that this evening. So I'm on my way to church. Tonight is our pastor's meeting, like I was telling you, which I think starts like right now. So I'm kind of late, but today was kind of like not too an exciting day at the office. Uh, but one thing that I did today, I mean, basically I worked on some emails, caught up on what's happening in our uh, spiritual formation course that we're teaching online right now. And, but one thing, that I did today, and I spent a couple hours on it, is I'm taking an online security, um, it's like an online course for, for our missionaries and our mission on security, it's like security training. And so they were teaching us in that course what to do in a hostage situation, which I thought was kind of interesting. I mean, you don't think about those things all the time. I hope you don't. And you often think that ah, will never happen here, but of course since those things are happening in Ukraine It's good to know like best practices what to do if Someone one of our missionaries is taken hostage or if I'm taken hostage. So anyway What they the advice that they gave in that article or in that training was that if you're taken hostage they give a list of like things that you should do every day to help keep your sanity and I thought it was really interesting because they said like for instance uh, read the Bible if you have a Bible memorize scripture especially scripture about God's promises um, have a routine uh, get exercise daily if you can um, uh, what else uh, recall uh, good times with your family and look forward to having more good times like that when you're released and it was like this list that they gave it was mainly stuff that you should really be doing even if you're not a hostage and for me it was a it was like a reminder that sometimes you, know, you get life you get so busy that you become distracted with things that aren't really that important but in extreme situations, like a hostage situation, it tends to focus you back on those things that are most important to you, like your relationship with God and your relationship with your family. So anyway, for me, that was good training on what to do in a hostage situation, but it also was a good reminder to me that I need to be focusing on those things, like Bible reading, scripture memory, prayer, getting daily exercise and spending time with my family i need to be focusing on those kind of core issues of life even now <laughs> Okay guys, so that's it for today. Pastor's meeting is over and 
kind of got rainy and cold out. So anyway, I'm on my way home. Our topic for the pastor's meeting this evening was, let's see, pastor who looks into the future, which mean, which meant like, you know, how do you deal with the problems, like contemporary problems in churches uh, of all the new technology and different issues that are coming into the churches now, like questions about homosexuality and things like that. And so a good, um, it was a good sermon, talking about how Jesus prepared his disciples for the future. And, um, and then we had some pretty good discussion after, even a bit of heated discussion, but, um, but it was a good time of fellowship with other pastors from around the city here. And I was glad to be able to connect with, with a number of them. So now it's time to go home and get the kids to bed. Yeah.